Here we are coding doing most of the good stuff of an ultrasound medical imager. I've opened my starting spreadsheet and I also have a screenshot down here of some critical information that we'll need. So I've already read the background information and I can tell that the line spacing from the reading is five millimeters and the frequency is six waves per microsecond and that the wave speed is 1.5 millimeters per microsecond. Okay, now we got to do what an ultrasound medical imager does, is it takes raw data on the time and the intensity of a reflection. So I'm just gonna start on line one, and at one microsecond there is a very small reflection. It's above zero on a scale of zero to three, after looking at the whole image, I would give this one a one. And then at two microseconds, there's another reflection that I'm giving level one. At three microseconds, it's a little bit bigger, but not the biggest. So on a zero to three scale, that would get a two. And then we have one of the biggest reflections that we get. So that's a three. And then there's actually no reflection on the rest of that line. All right, we're gonna just continue this across all 10 lines. And I have mine filled in. And once you get that done, you will go over and we need to start programming the width. So we're gonna go back up here and look. We got the line spacing, line one. Okay, so this is equal, I'm gonna code it. It is gonna be the line spacing up in E2 times what line we're on. And this first line, of course, is line one. I'm gonna go grab that over in C8. And as I drag this, I want it to keep referencing E2, so I'm gonna put the dollar signs to lock the cell around in front of the E and in front of the two. That way when I drag it, it will give me the correct width across our sonogram, our sound image. We also need to program the depth, which again, since we're coding, we start with the equal sign and the depth is gonna equal the wave speed up here in E4. And I wanna lock that reference, so I'm gonna do that right now. E4, so that's the wave speed times the time that that wave took to go there and back. And since depth is just half of that, I need to divide by two. That looks right. And I'll drag that down and check. Oh, something happened here. Oh, I grabbed the wrong cell. Okay, I also need to code the depth. So since I'm coding, I am going to start with an equal sign, and that is gonna be, the depth is gonna be the wave speed up here in E4, and I wanna lock that in, so I'm gonna put my dollar signs right away, times the time that wave was traveling for, time of transit, and that is to the object, and then back to our transducer, so the depth is just going to be half of that, so I need to divide by 2. And now I'm going to drag this down and check that those numbers look right. Okay, that looks good. And then next, now we need to get that information from our digitized raw data over into our visual. So I'm going to start with this first upper left one. And I want to bring that information over. So I'm going to again set this cell equal to the upper left cell of the raw data. Yep, and it matches. And I want to do that for all of the cells over here. So I'm going to first drag it down and then drag it over. So now I really at this point have just repeated the data. 
However, this does allow us to now conditionally format. So I'm going to go up to the Format uh, tab, click on it, and conditionally format because we want to color this according to the intensity of the image. And I can see that that is now off screen, so I need to bring that over. And we don't want, we want a color scale because we want a black and white image. Color scale. And then I'm just reading this. I got my range already selected. That's good. My minimum value. Okay, if there's no reflection, we think of that as dark or black. So I want to change my minimum value color palette by clicking on the paint can. I'm going to change that to black. And max value, that's very bright, big reflection. That's white. And so we got it done. Okay, and there we have it. We have a sound image from sound. Okay, now this is the left knee. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it right below. So I'm gonna get rid of this screenshot of that and paste it right here. Now, first things first, let's get change this right away right knee and let's also really remind ourselves by changing the color let's go bright purple so we never confuse the left knee and right knee very important in medicine to do this and so we don't mess up let's get rid of the raw data from the wrong knee so we again will just now repeat the process and we actually already have all of our coding done so as we put in the raw data from the right knee it will pop up. So again, I just happen to see that. So I'm going to put in one, one, zero, three. And you can see it happens as we go. So go ahead and complete that and go back and try to create an argument about what is medically happening with this injured soccer player's knees.